Hey, um, hey, we just didn't need to get it done today. I mean, you got to get a board and credit. I mean, they, they they did a great job hanging in that game and dealing with some adversity. I mean, it's unfortunate for them. Their their best player or one of their better players goes down early in the game, but but that kid showed some character and some toughness to come back in, and uh, and, and obviously he, he he was a big difference in the game. And you know, we had opportunities early to extend a lead, and we didn't. And and then we had you know opportunities in the second half to. You know, make a run, and we didn't. So, you know, when you when you don't, that's the result. So, I tip my hat to Oregon and, and Dana Altman. They they did a good job, and they were the deserving team today. Okay, we'll go ahead and open up for questions. Start here in the uh, middle, Steve. Yeah, Tommy. In the second half, uh, the outrebounded by ten. We made a run. But can you talk about when those are also a few turnovers that were probably not needed? Can you talk about those situations where you had a chance, but just couldn't. Yeah, I mean, we they, they did a good job playing defensively with their hands, and they got their hands on a lot of balls where we maybe had a slight advantage, and, you know, they were able to use their hands to knock the ball loose, and, and, and those are good defensive plays. And then on the glass, you know, we uh, we just we just kind of got a little bit stagnant on offense, and guys were standing around, and when that happens, it's usually hard to offensive rebound. And, and so they, they were able to control the glass at that end, and then, you know, defensively, you know, they were getting downhill. You know, into our chest, and uh, you know, and then we just you shoot those shots. They're hard rebounds, and traditionally we've been really good at rebounding those close little floaters and stuff like that. And we just couldn't seem to corral one today. Oh, you're on the far left. <clears throat> yeah, Tommy Ray, Cervantes with Camp Signal Radio. During the time that Dante was out in the first half, you guys were able to make a double digit lead, but with his return, there was a, a few offensive struggles that led to a nine minute field goal drop that extended in both halves. Why was his presence uh, able to disrupt the offense so much compared to the first two Well, games? well we, we just got stagnant. We got a little bit stagnant, and then generally that's not us. You know, when it happened, and then, you know, maybe we had a few shots we, we hope we usually make, and we didn't. And and then, you know, he was kind of a force around the basket protecting the rim and kind of erased a couple layups, and maybe that got in the back of some of our guys' heads. And uh, and But he gets credit. I mean, he gets credit. They, they, they run their little, you know, matchup to man, you know, zone defense pretty well, and, and tonight it worked. Right, Drew Rowe. Parker Cardinal Sports Sports on Com Rivals Network. Tommy, uh, Jackson Shells there, a couple of really difficult threes kind of go with ISO. From your perspective, was it, trying to defend that, was that just a case of him making just making good shots, or was there, or you feel you guys could have defended him better? Yeah, well, I'll, I'll, I'll probably err on the side of him making good shots. You know, I think they, you know, they made a couple of shot, shot threes at the end of a shot clock, and you know, and that that's the recipe for an upset. You know, you keep the game close, keep the game close, make a timely run, make a few threes at the end of a shot clock. You know, that seems to be a common theme, especially against us. So, yeah, we, we probably could go back and, and, and hope we would defend it a little bit better. But, you know, those are big time shots by a big time player. Staying on the right side, please. Tommy, this is the, the third game in a row where Caleb's kind of struggled a little bit. What do you attribute it and what would you like to see from him? Well, Caleb's had a great season, you know, and, you know, we, we've tried to do the best we can to, to lighten the load on him and make sure, you know, he knows he belongs with us. And, and, you know, we love him. We love that guy. And, you know, he just hasn't played well. But the one thing I know about him, he's high character. He's tough. He's a fighter. And, and you know, I expect him to come back full force uh, next week. Back to the room on the left. Yeah, Tommy, just with Kyle, it's been trouble to get him a lot of catch and shoots in these two games here in Las Vegas. How do you do that? Well, I mean, the, the, the number one way, you, you, there, there's two ways you get catch and shoots. One, you move the ball. And, and two, you got to hunt them. You know, I think Kylan's having some opportunities that I'm seeing that maybe he's shot making himself out of a little bit. But, you know, hey, those are, those are Kylan's decision to make. You know, you, you trust your players to make decisions they're comfortable with and shoot shots they can feel like making. So, you know, we'll, we'll, we'll take a look at that. But, you know, Kylan shooting the ball is usually a really good weapon for us. So hopefully we'll get more of that going forward. All the way in the back in the middle. Tommy, Matt Reynolds here with KDOA in Tucson. Uh, season low shot attempts for you guys. First time that you have not put up 50 shots in a game this season. What do you attribute that to? Well, turnovers and a slow pace. You know, once they were able to kind of get the game at their, at their pace, you know, um, you know, in, in that lead, they were able to kind of shorten the game. And, and you know, that, that's what good coaching that, that'll do. So, you know, I mean, you know, credit goes to them, but we're going to have to take a deep look at that <clears throat> because, you know, definitely we, we want to. We definitely want to get more shot attempts than 50. All right, Bruno. Uh, Coach, uh, Cuisinart's had some great games in the 
against Arizona? Is there something particular about his style of game? Well, he's a physical guard that can get downhill, and you know, and, he, and he's confident going downhill and attacking our bigs in that ball screen coverage. And you know, he's got the experience and the size to do it, and, he, and he's hit some tough shots. So, so he's a really good player. You know, I mean, obviously that's something we got to look at going forward, and you know, see if we can have a maybe a plan B up our sleeve. Back left, Bruce. Tommy and the guys, you wonder, just, I, there is a theory that maybe because you're kind of locked into that number two, losing isn't that bad tonight? Or do you feel like some of these things you're talking about kind of outweigh? Well, well, we're a program that competes for championships. So, you know, obviously we came here and we got a great fan base and, you know, we wanted to perform for them. And, you know, we weren't able to, but, you know, as, as true competitors, you know, we, we got to keep our head high and, and go back and understand, you know, that, that the greatest challenges lie ahead. And, and those is going to be an amazing opportunity. And, and, you know, the one thing I know about the character of our program is the guys respond, and I'm looking forward to seeing their response. Front row right here. You said that you, you made it uh, after the USC loss. You said that you uh, were going to get um, a USC green. Is this a similar mentality uh, heading into the tournament? Well, for sure. I mean, we're, we're going to have to treat it as that. I mean, when, when you play the hand you're dealt, you know, and obviously we would have loved to win today and win tomorrow, but that didn't happen. So I can't live in an alternative universe. So we're going to go back and take a look at things. And, and I love this group of guys. We've had an amazing journey together. And, 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 and I'm expecting the best times are ahead. Getting back to Bruce. Uh, just, to, just to kind of follow up on that. Like, do you guys feel in general maybe in a way in a, in a, in a good place going into the tournament? You're, you're healthy. You get an extra day of rest here. Uh, and some things to kind of stew on over for sure. I mean, we're, we're going to try to take advantage of all those opportunities. I mean, that's, like I said, we're playing the hand we're dealt and, you know, a, a loss, you know, it was, it was the unfortunate hand we were dealt today. Back right. Uh, for either player, Sean Rohn is catching these not. We talked about, obviously, under Tommy, you guys haven't lost any back-to-back -back games. You just had the question about uh, the gift of USC. Is there something for either of you that you take from this game moving into March, and how do you feel about the big week and how the response like that? Uh, yeah, they came out more aggressive first four minutes, second half. Uh, we had moments to put the game away a little bit more in the first half. We didn't, and they already won on us. Second row on the right, please. Kind of a, a two-parter. Tommy, we weren't going to take a shot attempt in the second half. What do you attribute that to? Well, we, we got to help him. You know, we, we got to help him find his opportunities. Um, you know, it, it's tough. We have a lot of success when he's upset in ball screens, and you know, we have some success when he's down low posting up. And today maybe he got caught a little bit in between some of those. And, you know, he, he got the ball inside, you know, I mean, on, on dump downs and little things like that, you know, uh, a number of times today. You know, he's got to take advantage of the opportunities he gets, but, but getting him the ball, more and better position is something we can definitely take a look at. And then next one for the player, do you just assume at this point of the year, based on the last three, four games, that teams are always going to kind of throw a zone or just throw a bunch of looks at you guys? Oh, uh, yeah, definitely. You know, uh, teams are looking at our zone offense and kind of seeing that we're struggling, but, you know, coach is doing a great job putting in a plan. So uh, these next couple of days, we got to figure out, you know, how we're going to attack the zones from now on. Last one here in the back. Uh, for Jaden and Paolo, what do you guys uh, believe the upset in turnovers in the 12 zone? A um, lot of sloppy plays. Uh, I had a few on my end today uh, where we were just trying to make hard plays when we don't need to. We have so many good players that we don't really have to try to make hard plays. We just take the easy ones and good things will follow. So, uh, yeah, just poor decision making, I think. Uh, you know, coach gives, you know, all of us a lot of freedom. And I think we got to, uh, as players, we got to do a great job, better job of uh, taking care of the ball. You know, t turnovers, you know, we got to limit those to help us win games uh, for more possessions of offense. Great. Appreciate it. Right. Thank you, guys.